Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for checking out the Almost Engineered channel. This video, I will be discussing my five day review of the Sense Energy Monitor and the usage in the Sense app. So stay tuned. Thanks for checking out the Almost Engineered channel. My name is Kenny. And if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel to get videos about technology and how to DIY things on your own. So this is day five of me having the Sense Energy Monitor installed. It's actually been installed for seven days, but when I initially installed it, it was on a Saturday and I contacted support. They didn't get back to me until the Monday following that Saturday. So essentially it's been installed for seven days, but actually only working for five. So what I had to do to get it working, I had an issue trying to do the setup there. When you do the setup, you have to actually open the app and use the app to connect to the device. And then they go back and forth and the app sends the Wi-Fi information to the device and then the device is able to connect to your network. So the problem that I had with mine was that the, uh, my phone could not find the device. Even though I was standing right next to it, I was actually bumping the devices together and it was still not able to find it. And so I contacted support. Support basically said, turn off the device, turn off your phone, turn on off Bluetooth and see if that works. And the last recommendation, which ultimately was the recommendation that did actually work, was to take the antenna off of the extension cable that they provide and connect it directly to the Sense device and then try to connect that way. And so, because I'm assuming there's some sort of electrical interference that that extension cable and the electrical wires in the panel, maybe they were touching or very close together. And so it was causing interference and the Bluetooth, you know, was not able to connect to it or something of that nature. So when I did disconnect the extension and put the antenna directly on the device, I was able to get it to connect like it was all good. So uh, if you're having that problem, that suggestion will probably work best for you. As mentioned, my electrical panel is outdoors. And so uh, I have to use the extension cable because I can't just, you know, put the sense device outside. Who knows who may walk up and try to take a walk off with it. So one thing that I think that can be proved upon is that Sense has a local memory that can maybe store at least a good five to 10 minutes worth of data. So like if the connection drop does happen, that is able to retain that data for, you know, a certain amount of time. And then once that connection is restored, then it pushes that data in addition to the current data up to wherever the Sense server is located. And so that would be helpful. That way you don't have these random gaps, you know, like I have like on mine, it may be like a two or three minute gap every day. And so, um, you know, to try to mitigate that, I would think that could be an improvement that the Sense people could work on. So now the other suggestion I know you're probably thinking is, well, why not, why are you rebooting your router every day? Well, sometimes the Wi-Fi can get very funky. And so, uh, I think because of the number of Wi-Fi devices that I have that may be causing a problem, I'm actually running DDWRT on my router. And so while it is very uh, powerful and can do a lot, sometimes when that Wi-Fi functionality crashes, the only option is to reboot the router. So I found out that sometimes that if you reboot the router every day, uh, you'll be able to get past that functionality of it crashing. All right, so another caveat for the Sense device, I noticed that it has not identified any devices as of yet. It's been almost a week, you know, I would think given that this time of year, it is the summertime. So my air conditioner is running daily as well as attic fans and, you know, uh, not so much the stove, but definitely the air conditioner and the attic fans. And as you see back behind me, the ceiling fan runs 24 seven. And so uh, I would think it would be able to identify that. However, it has not. It has not identified anything as of yet. So there's a screen on the the home screen on the Sense app that will show you the bubbles. And then if you can click the other thing, it shows you like a graph. And so the only thing that's showing right now is the graph. The bubbles have not decided to populate yet. So it says it's still trying to learn what is what on my electrical system. So I also had issues with the app. So in the app, you can put in your electrical uh, kilowatt per hour usage rate. So 
I'm in Alabama and I get my electricity from Alabama Power. And so they're charging approximately 10 cents, 10 and a half cents for the first 1000 kilowatt hours. And then there's a slightly higher rate, uh, maybe 10, 10 and 10, eight, something like that nature for the anything over that first 1000 kilowatt hours. So I did, I was attempting able to put in my uh, cost per kilowatt hour via the Sense app and the app crashed. Now, why did it crash? I have no idea. I did use the report option to report the defect to whoever that goes to when it crashes. I did uh, go to the Sense website and log in there and was able to put it in there with no problem. Like it literally just typed it in and saved and it was like, cool, got it. And then when I go back into the app now, I'm able to actually see, it's actually doing the calculations of cost per kilowatt hour and so forth um, and estimating that usage. So I'm not sure why that's the case and, you know, but is able to show up now. And I had a similar issue with the house details. So you can actually put it in the information, like the square footage, uh, how many people occupy your house and, you know, the type of cooling systems that you have in your house, heating systems and so forth uh, in there. And then, you know, save that information. But when I attempted to do that via the app, again, it crashed. I'm not sure why it crashed. I just saw, hey, the app crashed. It's like, okay. So I did also go to the website and attempt to do the same thing, was able to save the information in it. And so some of that information now does show up in the app. I didn't completely fill everything out, but what I did fill out, I'm able to see now in the app without it crashing. So I'm not sure why that's the case either. Um, maybe that's something that the Sense team can try to figure out. So as of yet, I don't have any notifications that I'm receiving from the Sense app. It is showing, you know, my daily usage and my always on power. So basically the very minimum amount of power that you would be consuming per day, it is showing that information. And that information shows up in the timeline that is available in the Sense app. So, uh, um, you know, I'm able to go and check that. Uh, there's always, a, there's another screen in there that shows the always on power. Uh, initially it said like 120 something and then the following day it changed to like 200 and something. Now I'm kind of confused why it changed. I don't know if I left something on or whatnot, but the actual usage, uh, the, it went up while I was away. So I'm kind of confused on why that may be the case. Maybe it isolated something separate. Maybe I did leave something on and did I know that I left it on? I'm not fully sure. So, but it is providing some data thus far. And so I'm waiting on it to actually start identifying the devices so that I can actually label what is what. Cause I'm more concerned with this time of year, given that it is the summertime at the time of this recording, that the attic fans trying to track how long the attic fans run and determining whether I should invest in trying to convert those attic fans into solar attic fans. Cause I actually have two of them um, on my house. So, you know, if I can justify the cost, like, hey, it's costing me X amount per day or per month in the summertime, you know, if I invest that into solar, will I actually see a return fairly quickly or fairly long? So that's what I'm kind of waiting on more so right now. Uh, I've also realized, hey, like the ceiling fans, like the one you see back here behind me, they have uh, incandescent bulbs. And the thing is they have the candelabra base, which is the smaller light bulb base. So trying to get those in CFL or LED is way more expensive than just a standard uh, Edison type of bulb, the big uh, light bulb. So that's the only problem now, but given that I'm actually using the Sense app and able to see how much they're using by switching them on and off, it's like, hey, you might actually want to go ahead and make that investment into switching to CFL or LED for those particular type of bulbs. So I've also been able to see how long my air conditioner unit runs. And so, you know, a lot of times you don't really pay attention to how long the air conditioner unit runs, but when you can actually see it on a graph, it's kind of like, oh, it changes your perspective. Not to mention, it also changes how well you, uh, you know, how, how much power is actually drawing when you use it. And so I know my house is under, under insulated. And so one of the things I am going to do uh, now that I have this data is to be able to compare the before and afters for 
you know, when I do the installation upgrades and adjustments, because I have, as you may be able to see over here in this corner here, I do have knee walls. And the thing about knee walls is a lot of times the insulation behind the knee wall will actually fall out of the spot where it's located. And so you actually have to go in and put stuff to actually on the backside to actually hold it in place. So that it actually true gives, gives you a true insulating value. So that's one of the one of many projects that I'm going to be working on. So hopefully this has given you insight into the Sense Energy Monitor. So like I said previously, I will be posting periodic updates on it. Uh, the next one will probably be in a few weeks to about a month or so. And I'll just give, you know, the analysts of what I've seen, what I've been able to identify and how well the app is working or any issues that I've encountered. If you have any questions about this Sense app, please drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to purchase the Sense app, I'll put a link to the affiliate link for being able to buy the Sense app in the description as well. Remember, the affiliate link will help the channel and be able for me to create more videos like this. So please use that link if you are going to purchase a Sense app. Also, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at AlmostENGR and be sure to check out my website, thealmostengineer.com. Thanks.